welcome to today. Good morning. Do welcome you know how to, to do today. Video? I do know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. How do I do it? I know how to do it. Hold it. I know how to do it. I'm not. You take that. the piece. Yeah, I know how to do it. Don't show you them. Take a piece. Make sure it goes to like about here on both sides. And then you take duct tape and tape it there, and then there, and then add more layers. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We got we're the tape. We're doing it how I know how. Okay. That's does it so oh, bad. who's wearing like some kind of hand cream or perfume? Oh, yeah. Ooh, it's strong. <laughs> I'd rather smell your hands than this smell something now. stinky. Ooh, strong. What did you use? So, Ooh, what did you use? I used perfect pumpkin. Oh, perfect pumpkin yeah, hand sanitizer. All right, All right well, anyways. Okay, just wait. Welcome. Okay. To I'm gonna pick you up. Oh, I pick you up. <laughs> Give me some warning. Did I pick you up? No. I got a foot off and my. <laughs> I can't. Let me pick you up. <laughs> See how it pushes all your breath out? Here, I don't know how babies handle it. Okay, try and pick me up, Gabby. <laughs> You're weaker than Sophie. <laughs> I'm lighter than oh. Sophie. Sophie can lift me up a little. Okay, anyways. So uh, for your viewing pleasure today, we have something really fun that we wanted to do. We've been dying to do it, and we're gonna do it today. And while we are getting all set up to do it, I'm gonna show you guys what I videoed yesterday that I couldn't fit into the vlog. It is about our 10 days of giveaway. So a lot of you guys are asking me, sending me messages, what about the giveaway? It is coming, you guys. We are working on it. Here's the information. <laughs> Who was that? Ruby. Ruby. She's like, hurry up with the giveaway. Or she's like, I'm bored. Let me outside. She says, let's go. Let's go. Hey. <laughs> Off. Down. Okay. So uh, here's the information, and we'll get back to you guys when we're all set up. Okay. So the details for the giveaway are first of all, it was really hard for us to figure it out. There's some guy riding an old lawnmower down the road. That's literally dad. Yeah, that is literally dad. The skinny. Okay, interesting. But anyways, the giveaway. So uh, the giveaway, it, we were like thinking like, how are we gonna buy something and give it away to somebody when we love you all? Like, how are we gonna give away 100,000 prizes because we love you all? Like, how are we gonna make this kind of fair? There are so many different writing disciplines. We write English, how are we gonna make this fair? What are we gonna do? So then it finally hit us, what we decided to do. So for our 100,000 subscriber giveaway, we decided to do 10 days of giveaways. 10 days of giveaways, so that at least more than one person can win. So we plan to start with small prizes, small giveaway things, and then build up to bigger things. And then what we decided was that it's hard for us to give away things that we don't know anything about. So we decided we're gonna do 10 days of giveaways of things that we love, all the things that we love, so many things that we to love. Give away my phone? You do not have to give away your phone, no. Um, what we're gonna do is all the products that we've shared with you, all the things that we've shared with you throughout this whole entire journey, we're going to get some of them and we're gonna give them away. Bell boots. No, not bell boots. Sorry, not bell boots. <laughs> But you guys know what I'm talking about. Thankfully for us, some of the businesses that we've worked with in the past have decided to contribute to our 100,000 subscriber giveaway. So uh, there will be some of those people in there, some of the companies that you guys have come to love just like we've come to love them. So there'll be surprises from them. Some things we will have and we'll physically show you and we'll ship to you. Um, and some things you will get to pick from the company website and they will ship it to you. So uh, that's what we decided. We're gonna do 10 days of giveaways. I'm not exactly sure when it's gonna start yet. We already have a few of the prizes at, at our house. We're ready to go, but I wanna be able to do it 10 days in a row. So how it will probably work is that you will watch each video and you will comment um, in the comments to be entered into the draw for that day's giveaway. And then each day we'll 
start a new giveaway and we'll draw the winner for that for the yesterday's giveaway also it will be completely random it will not be there's it will not be fixed it will not be how close friends we are it will not be how many times i hearted your comments it's going to be completely random as much as i want you all to win and, and so many of you have such a soft spot in my heart i need it to be fair that's just the kind of person that i am so that's what we're going to do 10 days of giveaways and it's going to start soon i'll keep you posted but you guys will know when it's about to start because i'll post it on instagram so follow me there if you want to be prepared but there will be 10 entire days of giveaways and that's that's what we're gonna do and i'm super excited so you have a chance of winning yeah so you have a chance of winning but once you win once you can't win again so if you uh, are a risky girl or a risky person and you want to put your name in each time each day then go ahead but if you win something that's smaller then you might not be able then you won't be eligible to win something that's bigger but i, put my name in each day I would put my name in each day too i'm a risky girl gabby what would you do if you could only win one time and there was 10 days of giveaways and we started out small and we worked our way up to bigger prizes and you could only win once, would you put your name in every single day or would you just put your name in every on the big... Day. Yeah, we're risky girls. Because then every day you'd have a chance to win if you didn't win. The You're not guaranteed to win the bigger giveaway um, if you... Just because you haven't won one yet. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm really excited to get the opportunity to do this. I'm excited I'm to work with enter. all the brands you're gonna enter. You already have all the things that I'm oh, giving away. Yeah, I want more bell boots. But that's not bell boots! All right, so Sophie's outside with the puppies. Gabby and I and Sophie created this. Gabby is not listening to me. She, Gabby thinks that Ruby is gonna go. Are you done yet? No. no. This is taking so long to construct. The first one was kind of a mess. You can see it. So this might not work very good. And the bottom one worked really well. Let me come and help you. So you guys obviously know what we're doing. We're going to open the door and let the dogs run in. And see if they notice it. Okay, so it's not perfect, you guys. It should be like, this is the one. So Sophie did this one. I did this one. And Gabby did that one. Okay. Come on, Molly. Come on. Okay, so now we're gonna try Macy. Come here, Macy. Come on, Macy. Come on. Come on, Macy. Molly. Come on, Macy. Come on, Macy. Come on, come on. Come on, Macy. Come on. All right, our dogs are too smart. Macy. Macy, come on. Macy's getting old, you guys. Good girl. Did we just waste a whole bunch of saran wrap for something dumb? Why well, yes, yes we did, we totally did. We do that kind of stuff because we're YouTubers. We do dumb stuff. We make impulsive buys. We make impulsive, oh, sorry. Impulsive purchases. Okay, watch this. So we make it a point not to jump Molly because she's so young. But Gabby was out playing with her in the field. Let's see if I can get that closer. Sorry. And there was a, they were running through the field and there's a big huge hole in the ground and she just flew over top of it. Watch that landing. Show them the landing. Whoosh, right down into the grass. Uh, so it probably will be next summer by the time we actually get to like jump her jumper and teach her to jump and get her excited about jumping. If you guys don't notice, our Ruby, 
our Ruby is a jumping holic. She'll jump things before she'd ever go around them. Like she loves to jump. She's a finny horse. She's a fin dog. <laughs> She's just like finny. Also, if you have 10. Oh, I have Kaylee doing the lobster. Also, if you have any questions about the 10 days of giveaways, just comment your questions below and I'll try and answer them. But yeah, so exciting, right? It tricked me. The yeah. program tricked me. Yeah, math is tricky. So this is the first day girls are back at math. They've been back to school for like about a week in Remember total, maybe I seven said, full days. When we were at the sales bar, what? I said, I'm not scared of any sheep, Ellen, I was. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, did you wash your face? Did you remember when I asked you to wash your yeah, face this I morning? My face. Did you miss some parts? No. Mm. Okay. So, anyways, Sophie did her math today. She did two complete lessons, and ha so there were eight questions. How many did you get right? How many did you get wrong? On the second one, I got none wrong. On the first one, I got one wrong. All right. So back to school. She's doing grade five, six math. That's what they offer in this program. And Gabby's doing algebra or pre-algebra. Pre-algebra. And what did you get? Did you do that last year? Yes. Pre-algebra? Oh, I should have put you in algebra then. How'd you do? How'd you do on your first test? 75. That's because I didn't learn it in school as the first question that I failed. But then I mastered all three other ones. Oh, so There's you... only four. I only got one wrong. Oh, and you only got one wrong? And you only got 75%? With one wrong? Up 25%. Oh yeah, Get yeah. One right, 25. Yeah, there's only four questions. Oh, all right. Well, that that sucks. So, anyways, in grade eight, she's building her uh, portfolio for homeschool. So she has a paper here, and every lesson she has to write in her score. So now her scores count, whereas before you just marked the paper and threw it away. But now, they count. All right. So uh, you should do one more lesson, Gabby. Yes. Do two lessons. Okay, and you're already yeah. done. All right, it's true. If you chew gum while you wear a mask, your mask takes on the smell of gum. I can tell. My mask smells like gum. Anyway, Sylvia and I are gone to the grocery store. Uh, we're gonna pick up some stuff to take to the barn, mostly gum, because if you guys didn't notice, I haven't been chewing it for a few days. Now that Sophie and I don't eat sugar, grocery shopping does not hold the same appeal, does it? It's just boring like old stuff. Food. You like all the food? Ever since we stopped eating sugar, the girls have been dying for salad. That's all they want to eat. Salad, 24-7. Uh, what are you doing? I'm trying to find gluten-free candy. <laughs> okay. Sugar-free candy? This is added. And it's on sale for three bucks. You're buying it. We bought these before. There's like five of them for three bucks, but they're yummy. Oh, so I drink these drinks. Peppermints. I know. You like peppermints? Yeah. My horse also loves them. So I drink these drinks. This is what I drink. But I think I'm gonna try something new. I'm gonna try something like this. So this is zero, I love carbonated drinks, but this is zero sugar, zero calories, raspberry lime. Sophie decided to get, put away her, her sugar-free candy and get nuts instead. So we're gonna get this and we're gonna try it and see. Okay, Another package for our 10 days of giveaways. Isn't that cool? All right, so who bet that they are in the woods, off. Please. You think they're off in their woods? Yeah. I think they are in the where the hay is, where the hay bale is here, where the round bale is. Where is Gabby? Oh, they're so cute. I love me some birds. Where do you think they're gonna be? Sophie, if you go first, you have to open the door for everybody. Uh oh. I'm wrong? It's good. I forgot my halter. Oh. Pff. Treat for her. Uh oh, did we bring treats? Nope. So we're not catching our horses today? Yep. Ooh, ooh. We always just scoot underneath the electric wire. One of these days we're gonna okay, wait for Sophie. Let's all wash her just in case she gets All right, so the rule in today's video is do not leave the mama behind. I'm gonna hold on to your no, shirt. You can come with us yeah listen i was video. videoing i was like okay let's be quiet let's not attract attention oh, i still have that apple in my purse wait. like we're stepping through to narnia or to like it's such a beautiful oh place it's like i know it's like now we're in this magical realm this way if they were in that field pick that field first okay <laughs> 
you see a Palomino Rane? That's Finn. Okay. To alert them. <laughs> That's what he did yesterday. So, oh my God, there's a jump. This is why our horses probably are tired. They like be jumping. Yesterday, um, so Finn was standing at the edge of the woods and he saw Sophie and then he took off running as fast as he could. Galloped back to tell Storm and Chino that we were coming, that they were coming. There's a gallop for a canter, but oh. graceful. Gabby, so fast. I'm already out of breath. We're out of breath. Because I was running to grab my halter. We got no sugar to keep us going. Oh. You guys were about to see. It's a little hard to breathe. Our horse's private field. There are tires there, though. But Please be something. here. Please be here, though, because literally, I do not want to spend hours chasing them through the woods. For half an hour. But to be real, let's point out the fact that I'm so glad our horses are like happy here and finding a place. This is this is heaven on earth for horses. She sees. That black thing in the woods is our horse? That's Storm. And then Finn and Chino. Oh. Wait, where's Finn? They must have heard us and came from that field over there. I don't see Finn. I see Storm. Oh, I see Finn. You guys see them? <laughs> don't call them because if they go walking through these woods, it's danger zone. Let's see what they do. I still only see one. Oh my gosh! We probably walked right past them. They're legit hiding behind. Look down here. Oh. <laughs> she grabbed all of me. She went. I fell. It's <laughs> Gabby. If you don't say Jesus, it's a bad word. She went. Hi, handsome. No. You need some powder on your cut. Hello. So we walked right past them. This is where they were. Let me show you. you got no girlfriend today? There's your girlfriend. You should ride him today too. Hey. Oh, geez, Louise. No wonder they get hurt though. Stick next to Storm. Storm, you lead the way. All right, so there's their field. I'm gonna run down there and look at it. No, the field's that way. I bet you they were in this field today. How are you guys feeling? So what are we gonna do about Storm? Oh, look at their friends now, you guys. Their brothers. Their brothers. <laughs> Finn. Don't even say it. You You're joking. You're you're actually joking. Nope. That one's on. Yes. It was on last time. Did you do that on purpose? Yes, he did. He did. He did. Like, you have a show this weekend, dude. Mm. Hey. Gotta call our farrier. Listen. Oh, wait, no, Chino can get the his feet done by the other farrier because he doesn't need hot shoes. Obviously, we're never gonna find the shoe. We have to phone our farrier. The life with horses. There's like a whole new path in these woods. I'm so sad. We only have a couple days till show. And she's got to ride them tomorrow in her lesson. So, uh, let's just agree that wearing two sets of bell boots costs you extra money but doesn't give you more protection. I, I, I don't I, like them stepping on my... horses following Yeah, I have our horses following us. See if I can get them. I don't like when they step on my feet though. They follow me. They know that you must scream. <laughs> oh my god! They follow me. Like I'm, I'm a horse whisperer. I'm a horse whisperer. Like they know I'm kind. Until Gabby takes the the per the. Hold on, hold on. Either that or they think the camera. Okay, take the apple. No, don't give it to them. Oh, good lord. This is how you create chaos in the field. So I have like a list of things that I want in our next farm, in our forever farm, in our new farm. And my one new thing that I want is 
yeah, fields like this. Like this is just glorious for them. This is like, Come on. they still be coming. They're getting ready to run. Ah, so there's other, oh, let's leave before they see us. No. Let's leave before they see us. No, where's their field? Oh, so this is their adorable little field. Okay, come on, let's go. Come on, we're going this way. Come on, turn around. I'll phone the farrier right now for you. Walking back through to the real world. It's like a whole nother world in these woods. So I've been reading up on it and apparently horses get used to like their surroundings. Horses raised in woods and that live in woods get used to it. It's normal for them and they can navigate the woods without getting hurt. The reason our, the reason our horses got hurt was because they weren't used to it yet, but now they're doing better. Chino, you can't go. Can you hold him? Like, what am I supposed to do? Put my finger up his nose and hold him back? This. All right. Just don't squeeze too much here because then um, that makes him not able to breathe. Okay. Don't let go. Don't let go, but don't squeeze too tight. Chino. no! I was not squeezing too tight. Listen, I'm a gentle woman. Unfortunately, it's your turn to stay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm calling the, I'm get, contacting the farrier right now, my love. So uh, this is my uh, spot at the barn. This is the spot that I've chosen for me. Sam chooses this spot too. It's, it's this little cubby, but it has a stool, so I just sit here. So another thing about the barn, and probably a lot of you guys do this too, when you board someplace, is that um, there's an app and you schedule in each week when your lessons are and you schedule in when you want to ride so you only can ride during certain hours like the time that you've scheduled every all the lessons and all the riding start here around 3 30. as long as we get in there and ride and we're done before 3 30 like we, we can always be before the rush hour when people get done work in school so we always have it to ourselves i didn't even notice that you put that hoodie on I think we caught our horses napping, napping in the shade. Look at that tongue. What is wrong with you? Those woods will be super cool. That's a scab. Yeah. Some people are saying you should never pick off a scab, but horses, you have to pick off their scab. Their heel, their cut heels from the inside out. And so once it gets to a certain stage, once it's completely healed, then you pick it off. You don't pick it off before it's healed. But yeah. That was like a quarter of the way your, off. You're meant to pick the scabs off of horses. And I went fast, you couldn't even And that's into. disgusting. I'm actually holding the scab of a horse in my hands. Anyway, in the winter, it's gonna be really good out there in those woods because they'll be kind of protected from all the elements with the trees and the, and there'll be less snow and less wind. Like, it's kind of like, I love this. And then they come in at night. Like, I, every time I come here, I fall more and more in love with the barn and the people. I have a theory that if I leave the girls all by themselves, they'll get done faster. So I'm testing it out right now. I'm gonna wait in the arena and see what happens. While I sit here waiting for the girls who are still not here, I've been reading my book. I'm reading this book called Just Mercy. It's written by a lawyer and he represents all the, he represents a lot of poor incarcerated people. Okay, so he says that the truest measure of our character so how good of a person you are is measured by how we treat the poor the disfavored the accused the incarcerated and the condemned he says it's super easy to treat rich people kindly it's super easy to treat um privileged people kindly it's super easy to be kind to to people that don't need your kindness he said that a true measure of how good of a person you are is how you treat the people who need you the most. Like that's so profound to me and so empowering to me. And it makes me realize that all the times I've backlashed at hate comments, I should be supporting those people the most. I should be loving those people the most. I should be helping those people the most because that is the biggest measure of your worth as, as a person. You know the crazy thing about Storm? The crazy thing about Storm is that with the quiescence we gave him, it did not slow him down. It did not make him different in any way other than he's just happy. He snuggles with our other horses now. He's a sweet horse. He's a happy horse. Like, I haven't seen him complain one single time since we gave it to him. Like, that was the best idea I ever had. 
So when the cat's away, the mouse will play. Look who Genio's with, you guys. You're okay, stay there, stay there, and I don't need you. It's okay, stay there. Aw, poor handsome boy. Aw, he chose me over that girl, you guys. He likes bays. Aw, look at him. Look at him, though. Like, he knows it's people. Hi. Do you remember me from the woods yesterday? I love her. Like, she is beautiful. When I look at her, I see an actual unicorn. Like, she doesn't even look like a regular horse to me. She's just gorgeous. Oh my goodness. And she's nice. Okay, so you guys know Storm hurt himself when we first moved here about a week and a half ago. And uh, we've been pouring this powder on him. This is called spray lime. And we've been putting it on his foot. And it's working. No... No um, dressing, no like changing of dressing, no nothing. All we do is you just put it on his foot, throw a bunch on and leave it and it's working and there's no proud flesh or anything right now. Like it's working so good. I'm so excited to be able to have something that works for him. I'm not gonna lie, I'm so hungry. Like I barely made it through that riding. We have so much riding, like the girls could not stop. They were in love with riding today so much that they couldn't stop. Finn couldn't stop riding. Gab and Sophie couldn't stop. Finn couldn't stop. Probably gonna put all the riding. It's an extra video. So by the time you see this vlog, you'll probably already have seen the riding videos if you wanna watch the riding videos. But yeah, it was a really great day. Spending time in the barn with my girls in this gorgeous fall weather is like soul soul food you guys it's amazing I'm thirsty though and we're thirsty we're hungry debbie has got popcorn and a drink and a drink she prepared herself how'd you get gum so yeah did you give her something one piece was letting her have a sip of my drink oh one piece was and for... another piece was for hoof picking fins like okay. hey if you hoof pick my horse i'll give you some gum that doesn't seem fair i said i'm taking i get a piece of gum then Let's go home and eat. Don't you know that you're beautiful?